Hello Fellow Earthlings, it's Libs, and this week I decided to read like Robert Pattinson. So, The Batman is coming out, so that is kind of what inspired me to do this video. Did I read these in books in one week? No, it's taken me about a month because issues arose, but that's okay. So, for this video, I ended up reading two books. I was going to do three. I was going to read both Sapiens and Homo Deus, and incidents happened. I am 75% of the way through Sapiens, and the <laughs> my hold at the library expired, so I am going to start reading a physical copy. Thankfully I was able to borrow one, which is great, so I'll be getting around to that soon. While I've been waiting to get that physical coffee, cough, oh. I just had my booster, my brain is not working. While I've been waiting for that copy, I started reading Dubliners by James Joyce. I... This is weird. It's like a short story collection. The only thing in common is that everyone lives in Dublin. Um, it's fine. It's okay. I'm not really all that invested in anything. Uh, some of the stories I quite like. Surprisingly, it's the stories from the female characters that I like, which I didn't think would happen in a collection written in the 1910s, early 20s or something like that. So, I don't know. I'm curious to see what, what they're like later in. I'm at page 95, so I'm nervous, but... I don't know, Robert Pattinson read it and maybe one of these two books will do something for me. I listened to Sapiens as an audiobook from the library and it's such a long book that it expired and then I had to find a physical copy to borrow and it just took so much time that I could not deal <laughs> with going on a homo deus. But let's talk about the books I actually read. So the first book I read that I know Robert Pattinson has read is Dubliners by James Joyce. I have this stinky little copy right here. This is a short story collection that he published in, I want to say 1914. Okay, so this is a very, very old short story collection and you can kind of tell. The only thing these stories really have in common is that they're about people who live in Dublin. There's nothing really joining them together apart from that, other than I don't think any of them are particularly wealthy. I think that's the only other thing they, you could argue that they have in common. Uh, the majority of the stories are about men. They were the stories that I didn't like, really. Most of the male characters seem to just be angry at their wives or angry that they don't have wives or alcoholics. So they weren't the most fun characters to read about. The ones that stood out were the stories about women. James Joyce did a much better job at making them interesting and giving them issues to work through that weren't just I'm angry at my partner. There was a really good one about this woman who was considering running away to get married with a sailor and she's trying to like escape this really terrible situation she's in with her father and that was just a really good story it was really interesting dealt with a lot of complex issues in a really short amount of time so that one was fantastic but that's kind of the only standout in this book now the writing was good somewhat old-fashioned in a lot of places but there were some good lines like there was this one that I underlined but my body was like a harp and her words and gestures were like fingers running upon the wires love it so there were some really good aspects of this short story collection but I don't know I just we know I'm not necessarily the biggest 
of short stories. I don't know what else to say about this book really. It's just, it was fine. I gave it three stars. I don't know. I don't think this is Robert Pattinson's favourite book because it took me a while to hunt down that he'd read this one. But I definitely know, according to the internet, that he was a big fan of Sapiens. So I'll go on to that one. Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yavor Noah Harari. This book was published in 2014 and I think every single person <laughs> I know has read this book apart from me until now. So, this is a non fiction book about Homo sapiens. I don't know how to describe this book. <laughs> it kind of just goes into the brief history of humankind. I don't know how else to explain what this book is about. It kind of goes into all the different sort of revolutions that have happened in human history and how humanity has changed and evolved over centuries and the different structures we have created to become a society and the pros and cons of many of those social constructs. I would recommend physically reading this book, not listening to the audiobook, because I did not retain like anything from the first 70% of this book listening to the audiobook. Actually having the physical copy made a big difference, I actually no some of the things that happen in the final 30%. So that's good. But, I don't know. This is a book where I'm kind of confused why it was so immensely popular. Like, I get it, and I think there's a lot of important information in here, and I it's not that I wouldn't recommend this book. It's just, I can't quite believe that so many people who weren't really big, that I know who aren't like big book readers, and aren't that into nonfiction, were all really, really into this particular book. And I don't know, it, it's good, but it's not absolutely mind blowing. It's just a well researched text about how humanity has reached the point we're at. Well, we were at in 2014. There are definitely elements that feel somewhat outdated at the moment, but I don't know. It's it's fine. It's good. I didn't give it a star rating because that just felt a bit weird with this kind of book. I know that some historians don't agree with everything in this book, but that's most most things. It depends on the historian and what they have specifically been researching. But this is, this is a solid book, so what do I now think of Robert Pattinson's reading choices? I think he must really like books with a lot of big brain energy. You know, these aren't light, fluffy books. They take a really long time to read. Even, even Dubliners, which is only, what, 250 pages, took me ages to read just because of the way it's written so I definitely think Robert Pattinson is very smart and enjoys smart books and must enjoy thinking about them deeply but I don't think his taste and mine necessarily mesh together particularly well but that is okay now I know I'm probably not going to pick up books he recommends unless someone else has recommended them first. But that is it for this video. Let me know if you've read any of these books down in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye.